Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angel and today we're going to be doing some more fall DIYs. For this project, I'm going to be using two of these thick little leaf shelf sitters that I got from Dollar Tree. I removed all the little paper front pieces that this had on it. It was like a floral design with initials. So I did remove all of that and these are going to be done opposites of each other. So one standing the opposite way. And the first thing I did was paint these with some white chalk paint. As you can see, I didn't really cover these well because I did want some of that brown showing through, but I did make sure to do the sides and the back as well. Then I'm gonna grab some of my carbon paper from Amazon and I also went into Canva and made this little quote that I traced out onto some regular printer paper. And then I'm gonna cut down my carbon paper to fit these pieces and tape each piece to the fronts of my leaves. Now these leaves do kind of stand a little bit crooked, so I made sure to stand my pieces up before taping my little quote pieces to the front of these. Then I'm just gonna use the little tool that came with my carbon paper, and I'm gonna go over that quote on both of these pieces. And once you lift it off of here, as I'm sure you've seen in my other videos, it just leaves the imprint of this, and I was able to go back in with a fine tip Sharpie and trace over this. Now, I thought these would be cute just sitting on a shelf, but also cute if you wanted to use them for bookends. For this really simple project, I grabbed this tray from the Dollar Tree Plus section and the first thing I did was grab a wet cloth and some of my antiquing wax and I'm just going to stain up this entire tray. Then I went in with a large chippy brush and a little bit of white paint on it and I just dry brushed that white paint all over this tray. Then I grabbed this pumpkin stencil that I actually got from Amazon in a pack of, I believe, six or seven stencils. But then I'm going to take my small little brush and some white chalk paint, and I'm just going to go over this entire stencil. Once it was dry, I just made sure to seal this, and then I had a cute little fall tray. For this project, I'm just gonna be using a styrofoam pumpkin. Now, I got this one from Amazon, but you could definitely use Dollar Tree styrofoam pumpkins or one from a craft store. I'm also gonna be using some air dry clay molds. I got all of the ones I'm using from Amazon and then some of my air dry clay. The first pieces I am making are these pretty little like leafy vine pieces and I just made a couple of those and then I'm going to use some gel super glue to attach these to my pumpkin and I just did like every other little crease and then here I'm using some of my leaf molds and I just ended up making a whole bunch of these to start with just to see how many I would need and again I'm using some gel super glue to attach all my little mold pieces to the top here of my pumpkin. Now once I did that first row of leaves around Around the top of the pumpkin. Then I went back in with this other little shape of leaves and I just kind of stacked those on top of the first layer but in between the two from the first layer. I also did end up I think having two or three three pieces left over when I was finished. So I just decided to add those to what 
is going to be the front of the pumpkin. And the final little piece that I'm adding on here is just this little cameo frame mold that I also got from Amazon. And it's got a little flower in the center. So I just added that to the front side. Then I let all of my clay mold pieces dry overnight. And I went in with some of my European gold rub and buff just over all the clay pieces. For this final project, I'm going to be using this wood board. If you remember a while back, I made over a crate and this was actually the lid for that crate and I saved it and thought it would be perfect for this project. I'm actually going to frame it. So as you can see, I did trace around on this wood board so that I would know where to stay inside those lines and my frame won't cover it. Now, I'm starting out by just using a pencil and I am just kind of going to draw the shape of a pumpkin on here. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's just kind of giving me an idea of how I want my pumpkin and where I want it. Then I'm going to grab some of this Dollar Tree spackling and some of my little putty knives I have here. But I'm going to actually put some of this spackling in a little bowl and you can see I'm spritzing it with water until it is more of a paste consistency. If you leave this without the water, it's kind of just going to be flaky and not as easy to spread. But as you can see, once I had it in that paste consistency, then I'm just kind of going around doing the shape of my pumpkin and smoothing this all over where I drew that pumpkin out. So I just continued working with it and also you may have noticed like when I get to the edges I do take my putty knife when I finish each edge and I kind of go around to make it smoother and wipe off the excess. And once I had finished my pumpkin then I went back in and just made some little lines to do like the pumpkin shape. Then I also used that spackling to do my stem and I also added in a few tiny little leaves at the top as well. Then I let this completely dry for a few hours. Just make sure that it is hardened and dried before you paint it. Then I grabbed some of my paints. I have white, a tan color, a brown color, black and a green color for this painting. And the first thing I'm doing is taking that white paint and I'm gonna go over my entire pumpkin. And I also added a little bit of white paint to the outside edges of the pumpkin as well. Now, while that white paint is still wet, I'm gonna take some of that tan paint and do some shadows on this pumpkin. And I'm just taking that tan paint and blending it in with that white paint right around where the pumpkin curves are. And I also just used what was left over on my paintbrush and kind of just went over where all that texture is. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to mix some green with a little bit of brown and a tiny bit of black to make the leaf color and then I just painted those leaves and also this is where I'm going to start adding some things to the background because this is not just going to be a textured painting but also I'm going to go out onto the background of this pumpkin so I'm adding some whimsical little vines and then this is where I'm going in and painting the stem with just a little bit of my brown paint and you can see then I went back in and added some more vines and I'm also going to add a few more little leaves here at the top because like I said I wanted to blend this into the texture. Then I'm going to go back to my larger brush and again I am blending the textured part into the background with some greenish brown paint that I had mixed up for those vines and I'm just going to do a little bit of greenery here on the bottom and bring it up onto the pumpkin. 
Then for a final touch on this painting, I'm just doing some tiny little white flowers on all those vines. And also I added in some more vines there at the bottom in that greenery and went back in to do a few more of those little tiny white flowers. Once the paint was dry, then I took this outside and used some Aileen's acrylic sealer to seal it all in and just added it to my frame. And that's going to be it for these quick and easy fall DIYs. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.